Understanding Vein Constriction, a guide for English language learners. Hello, everyone. In today's video, we'll explore the phrase, vein constriction. This is a term you might come across in medical contexts or when discussing human physiology. Don't worry if it sounds complex. We'll break it down together in an easy to understand way. So, let's dive into the world of veins and learn what vein constriction really means. Before understanding vein constriction, it's essential to know what veins are. Veins are blood vessels in our body that carry blood towards the heart. They are an integral part of our circulatory system. Unlike arteries, which take blood away from the heart, veins perform the opposite function. They are flexible tubes that help in the efficient circulation of blood. Now, let's focus on the term, constriction. To constrict means to make something narrower or tighter. It's like squeezing a tube to reduce its diameter. In the human body, constriction can happen in blood vessels, including veins. When a vein constricts, its diameter decreases, making the passageway for blood narrower. Combining the two concepts, vein constriction refers to the narrowing of veins. This process can happen due to various reasons like body temperature, stress, or certain medical conditions. Vein constriction is a normal physiological response. For example, when you're cold, your veins constrict to conserve heat. However, it can also be part of certain health issues, which is why it's often discussed in medical contexts. Understanding vein constriction is crucial as it affects blood flow in our body. When veins constrict, blood flow is slowed down or restricted. This can impact how oxygen and nutrients are distributed in the body. It's a key factor in maintaining blood pressure and responding to different bodily needs. In medical settings, controlling vein constriction can be important for treating various conditions. And that wraps up our exploration of vein constriction. I hope this video has helped clarify what it means and why it's important. Remember, terms like these might seem complicated at first, but they become simpler once you break them down. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video informative. Stay curious and keep learning!